So this question is on relative motion. The question reads, a ship sails due north at 450 meters per second relative to the ground while a boat heads northwest with a speed of 520 meters per second relative to the ground. Find the speed of the ship relative to the boat. So we have a quantities defined here. We have that a ship is sailing north so this is the velocity of the ship relative to the ground and it's at 4.50 j hat the reason it's because it's heading north along the uh, x y axis and then we have another quantity which is the velocity of the boat relative to the ground and this velocity is 520 meters per second. This is meters per second. Now this vector is, as given in the question, is making is a northwest, which means is making 45 degrees with either direction, the y or the negative x. So this is a question on relative motion. And here we have two frames of references. We have the Earth as the static frame of reference, and we have the, uh, the boat as the second uh, frame of reference. So now, what we can do, we can relate those to the relative motion between them by the equation that the velocity of the ship relative to the ground should equal the velocity of the boat relative to the ground plus the velocity of the ship relative to the boat. So in order to find what's missing here, which is the velocity of the ship relative to the boat, we need to write the velocity of the ship relative to the ground and velocity of the boat relative to the ground in their i hat and j hat coordinates, because this is a two dimensional problem. So the velocity of the ship relative to the ground is this vector, which is 4.5 j hat, of course, it's in meters per second. And this should equal the velocity of the boat relative to the ground. And we need to uh, analyze this vector into its components. So it has a negative x component. So it has a minus velocity of the boat relative to the ground. And this is sine 45 degrees. And this component is the y component of the velocity of the boat relative to the ground, which is a positive one, velocity of the boat relative to the ground, cosine 45 degrees. Now we can write it as a vector, so it writes minus 520 meters per second, cosine 45 uh, minus 45, so this is positive, cosine 45, j hat plus 520 meters per second, sine 45, this is minus here because it's pointing to the negative direction, okay, and this along the i hat, plus this term, unknown term, velocity of the ship relative to the boat. Then we arrange the equation so that we place the velocity of the ship relative to the boat, which is the unknown on one side, and everything else is on the other side. So, velocity, so we can first even find, we can first find those vectors. So this one will be minus 3.68 i hat plus 3.68 j hat plus velocity of the boat ship relative to the boat and this should equal 4.5 j hat then we arrange this so velocity of the ship relative to the boat is equal 3.68 
i hat plus point eight two three j hat. Now this is the net vector after arranging the equation. And because the question is asking about the speed, so I need to find the magnitude of this. So velocity of the ship relative to the boat is the square root of those components, the x component square and the y component square. So it is 3.68 square plus 0.823 square. And this will yield 3.77 meters per second. So this is the velocity of the ship relative to the boat. Thank you. So this is a question on relative motion. The question reads, relative to the air, a plane flies eastward at a speed of 156 meters per second, while a wind is blowing southward at a speed of 20 meters per second relative to the ground. The velocity of the plane relative to the ground is. So basically the problem here indicates that we have a static frame of reference, which is the ground, and we have a moving frame of reference, which is the air, and we want to find the velocity of the plane relative to both, in specific, the velocity of the plane relative to the ground. So according to the description in the question, the plane is moving relative to the air eastward, so it is along the I hat direction, or the positive x, with 156 meters per second, and the uh, air is blowing relative to the ground in a direction southward with a value of the uh, velocity or speed of minus 20 j hat. So now this vector, the unknown vector that we need to find, which is the plane, velocity of the plane relative to the ground, can be written as velocity of the plane relative to the ground should equal velocity of the plane relative to air plus velocity of the air relative to the ground. So velocity of the plane relative to air is 156 meters per second i hat minus, of course this is plus, moving eastward, minus 20 meters per second j hat, which is the velocity of the air relative to the ground. And this is unknown velocity of the plane relative to the ground. Now, the question is asked about the velocity, which means we need to find it in magnitude and in direction. So in magnitude, the velo velocity of the plane relative to the ground is the square root and the square of these components, the i hat and the j hat component, the x component and the y component, which is 156 square plus minus 20 square. And this will give a magnitude of 157 157 meters per second. Now, in order to find this angle, because we need to find it as velocity, magnitude, and direction, we can use the, uh, uh, the trigonometry to find that tan theta should equal this divided by this, which means a 20 divided by 156 as a result tan inverse of a 20 divided by 156. So this should give a theta and which is equal to 7.31 and clearly the direction is south of east. South of east. So degrees south of east. Thank you.